For this one, I'm gonna try and synthesize a bouncy ball. To get things started, I'll add about 300 mils of water to a beaker, and I'll turn on the stirring. Now, I can dump in some sodium hydroxide drain cleaner, and I have to wait for it all to dissolve. When I didn't see any left, I turned on the hot plate, and I waited for it to heat up. It now seems pretty good, and I can start adding some sulfur. I'll do it slowly to not mess up the stirring, and in total, I'll add about 30 grams. At first, it doesn't seem like much is happening, but the sulfur is supposed to be reacting with the sodium hydroxide. The sulfur should be turning into a mixture of molecules called polysulfides, which are soluble in water. This process is really slow though, and it took about 30 minutes for most of it to react. I'm eventually left with this dark orange mixture, and when I turn off the stirring, all of the unreacted sulfur sinks to the bottom. To get rid of this sulfur, I'll get another beaker, and I'll pour out just the dark liquid. I'll also add a stir bar, and what I have to do next is wait for it to cool down. This ended up taking about 40 minutes, and now it's finally time to make the bouncy ball. To do this, I just need to add something called 1,2-dichloroethane. It again didn't look like much was happening, but then the color quickly changed, and I started seeing some solid stuff. This was all something called thiocol rubber, and now I basically just had to wait. For a while, it kind of just looked like a mess, but then it started clumping up into a chunk that was rolling around the beaker. Over the next 20 minutes, it slowly got bigger and bigger, and when I felt that it was done, I turned off the stirring. What I had to do next was pull it out, and I was really hoping to see a nice ball. However, it was a lot more rectangular than I expected. I then washed it in some water to try and get rid of some of the chemicals. So now, after all that work, I have a little rubbery cube. It isn't as round as I was hoping for, but it's still really squishy, and I think it should be able to bounce. Okay, so I don't think I can call it a bouncy ball, and it's more like a kind of bouncy cube. 